This is not the same machine, by the way, guys. Let's see how long. No, I thought you'd get something from banging on this machine. Oh, she just comes running out. Can I break it? That's five times of me striking this thing. I can't imagine how many more times I'd have to strike this thing for someone to come out. Alright, maybe I'm mistaken. Sorry guys, I thought you got something if you hit that thing enough times. But, if you come in here, you have a save point and a restroom. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Let me get some rest. When, don't you wish that like companies in America would do this? Have, you know, a floor where you can actually rest whenever you want to. But uh guys, that's gonna be it for this episode, kind of. Um, I'm actually just gonna come in here save real fast and I'm gonna just move right back on. Cause I have plenty of time to record today. I don't have anything else going on. So guys, let's get going. Woo! I lied, guys, that is not the <laughs> I actually have no idea where or when I'm going to cut this. I'll have to look into that. That's not going to be fun. Ooh, treasure chests! Oh, Oct. Alright, well, at least there's a treasure chest up here. Locked! Oh, okay, there's two in here. Locked! Ooh, Midgar Parts. That sounds useful. Oh no! This floor is not safe at all! And here we go, guys. These are one of my favorite things to grind against. Uh, these things, by no means, are amazing. You get to show a play game. Which, it hits your first enemy, and then it splits off and hits every other enemy on the field. What? And then another th reason that I like these guys is that they actually have a fury inducing attack. So when they auto attack you like that, they have a chance to cause fury on a party member. And I'm trying to steal hypers off of them. Which is the other reason that makes this, this area my favorite grinding spot. Look at that, one slap and it nearly filled up Tifa's limit, limit bar. But yep, that sawback when it hits all three of your uh, party members, if they all have fury, like one to two sawbacks will give you a limit break. It's amazing. So I think this is my personal favorite early game grinding spot ever, because you don't even have to spend money on what you're doing here. What is this thing? Midgar, born from Mako energy, which sucked, which was sucked right out of the earth. Model of the city. When construction of Sector 6 finishes, Shinra's plans will be complete. That must be why he took Aerith. You know what? I'm, I'm honestly going to say, guys, I never understood that. The model of Midgar, born from Mako, sucked right out of the earth. Parts of the model are missing. Oh, so that's what the parts do. Place the midcar parts. <gasps> what was that sound? Sounds like something opened up. So each of these res uh, corresponds to a chest. And I actually don't remember the exact order of the chest that these res uh, respond to. There is a select order where no matter what you do, um, if you put the pieces in a certain order, you either get the chest to open up in a circle, or you can do the exact opposite, put the pieces in a circle, and the chest open up, and I think I already messed up the order in my head. Yep. I'm going to the chest all the way across. But, guys, if you if that, it hasn't, ugh, the game hasn't made this perfectly clear already, that chest next to the stairwell is going to be our key card to get off. 
Spoilers, though. Spoilers! Now, another thing, uh, uh, too, guys, is if you're trying to build up limit breaks, having Barrett in the back line is fine if you don't want him to build up limit breaks for XYZ reason. I don't know why you wouldn't want Barrett to be building up a limit break. But, uh... If you don't like Barret, or if you don't want him to have limit breaks, or let's say you just want to keep him in your party through the whole game, um, putting him in the back line, he will take less damage back there. Put him in some parts. And I think our first treasure chest opened up in there. Ah, oh, weird. I was about to say, I think it goes in one order, and then it goes in the opposite order, but I guess not. Um, but yeah, if you want any character not to build up a high limit uh, break, or, you know, Tifa doesn't have a whole lot of life, you can put her in the back row. But, if she's covering somebody in the front row, she's going to take damage like she's in the front row. Um, guys, I'm actually going to... I think we'll end the episode here. Yeah, I want to have the episode here, guys. Um, I'm going to do a grinding episode, and then I'm going to move on with the story plot. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Tune in next time if you want me to see me kill stuff. Thanks for watching.